Hi. Uh, we also we also have another type of examples about the inverse trigonometric uh, ratios, which is uh, for the uh, numbers which are not which they don't belong to some spatial uh, angles like 30, 60 degree, which is we are going to solve a question which is the last question in this page as an example. So our cosine of two over three, don't do it. Our cosine of two over three, we don't know. So we name that one as alpha. Then later we think about if this is our cosine, it is defined in which uh, quadrant? Our cosine is defined from zero degree to 180 degree. So if it is a negative number, you will say that it's in the second quadrant. Since it's a positive number, you say that the alpha is in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, Let's write before we move on forward. Uh, the results of trigonometric ratios, they are all positive results. So then anyway, once you assume that this is equal to alpha, so you can get an equation that an equation like cosine alpha equals two over three. So uh, the original question right now, it turns into sine, two times alpha. You replace alpha for arc cosine two over three. So you need to know the formula for sine two alpha, which is two times sine alpha times cosine alpha. To be able to move on, I need to replace the numbers. Sine alpha, we don't know, but cosine alpha, we can replace two over sine three. Alpha. So, if you know cosine alpha, you can draw a triangle and find the sine alpha. You draw right triangle for alpha, cosine alpha two, and the hypotenuse should be three. You need the third side as A and Pythagorean theorem. The hypotenuse, what? Square root, square root of five, right? Okay, right. But let's solve it in the video since I am recording okay. uh, for the other people. So Pythagorean theorem, remember the hypotenuse. First, you place the hypotenuse in here to the right side and power two, other two sides with power two goes left, a squared plus two squared. So a equals square root of three squared will be nine, two squared will be four. Once you put it other side, minus four. So a equals square root of five. So now I can write sine alpha from this triangle, opposite side, square root five over hypotenuse, which is a three. Then you just multiply them two times two, four square root five over nine, you get 